Hey, yo, buds. Peek the merch there, bud. Go to uh, bearsgear.com and 20% uh, of all proceeds go to uh, helping the various community. So you should go do that. And I'm not even sponsored. I'm just, that's what I'm starting with. But this video, <laughs> like all my videos, is long overdue. Um, I think like a month or two ago, Brandon Coin made a video saying, do not buy the TCL A3X. So what did I do? I bought three of them and I have three of them mining. And uh, yeah, um, f for starters, they are way smoother to use. <laughs> like the A3s are just like, clunky and you can tell they're slow um you you can tell they have a mediatek processor in them uh these ones you can definitely tell that there's a snapdragon in there but yeah um i'll show you the setup and uh where it's been living for a while and then i'm gonna go over some other numbers which are is very interesting and here's the classic you know uh the old where it's been living for a uh, uh, I'd say like almost two days here it's been uh it's been mining on luck pool I even though I'm a viper net all the way I, I prefer luck pools graph it's just it's just a nice will give us a nice 24 hour graph and then we can compare and contrast with other things later but yeah this is where the phone was living and uh, I will go over the specs right now, and then I will show you the luck pool graph. So this is the TCL A3X. Uh, it is running uh, Android 11. Uh, the model I have is three gigabytes and 64 gigabytes of storage. And it's uh it's roll it's running an older Snapdragon, and uh, eight of those cores are running at 1.8 gigahertz. And uh, I think where this phone shines is its power of like of how efficient that Snapdragon 480 is. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll be seeing that later on in this video. So here's our lock pool graph right here. Uh, let's get rid of the now because that's not important and let's, let's get rid of the two hour that's not important either but uh, if you look on here we're only getting about 4.7 mega hash and uh, that is not very impressive at all because most of my phones do 5.5 or you know 5 and above so 4.8 to 4 like 4.7 to 4.8 is pretty low for me but uh, I want to show you guys something very, very, very interesting. And uh, yeah, let's go check that out. It's only pulling like 3.2 to 3.5 watts off the wall, which is insane. Um, just proof, there it is, it's mining. But yeah, uh, I've been watching this for two days and yeah, it generally sticks around 3.5, but Right now we're at like 3.2, 3.4. Um, now I'm gonna go get other phones. Uh, I'll go get the original TCL and we'll see uh, what's how, how many watts that pulls. So we have the original uh, TCL A3 here. So the non-X version. And it gets a little bit less of a hash rate, but it is pulling 4.8 mega hash. Um, now I'm going to pull one of like my, uh, like beefier phones, ones that, uh, get a lot of hash rate and we'll see what kind of wattage that's pulling. So, uh, here is the dream 5G. I did the, I already did a video on this, like the, called the king of the budget mining phones, but it pulls around, uh, six watts. I was seeing up there to the 6.5, but yeah, around six watts. Ooh. And uh, yeah, that's for 6.7 mega hash. So uh, I'm gonna go plug that into like what to mine and see what kind of profits we're making. And if the A3X is actually worth to get. So we have our three phones here. 
uh, the first one. This will be the TCL A3X. And oh uh, yeah, everything's plugged in. 4.7 mega hash, 2.5 watts. And my estimated profit today is four cents. So that's not too bad at all, like for one phone. Um, yeah, I wouldn't count this phone out just for its lower mega hash. And then we got its uh, lower counterpart. Uh, it was getting 4.2 mega hash. I just checked on viper.net and we were consuming 4.8 watts. And we were only making three three cents a day off this one phone. So like not nearly as good as the A3X. And then we got uh, the Dream 5G, which is, you know, in total, it's going to bring us seven cents a day, but it's going to cost us two cents. But it's going to make us five cents Canadian. So, you know, it's it's still an amazing mining phone. But I just wanted to show you, like, just because, you know, your mega hash is higher doesn't mean, you know, you're making as much. And yeah, uh, I'll go to the tripod and we'll give you my final thoughts. Uh, so would I buy this phone for mining? Like 100%. Like just because of a lot that slightly lower mega hash, like three point, just pulling 3.5 watts. That's like, that's, that's pretty impressive. Like I don't think, I think my screenless J5s pull 3.5 watts and they get uh, around 4.5 mega hash. So pretty close. Oh, and it's also, yeah, like like I said before, it's way smoother to run the A3X than the A3. The A3 is like freaking, it feels like cheap technology when the A3X actually feels like, you know, you have a Snapdragon in your phone, which it does. Um, so yes, Brandon Coin, I am going to say that you were wrong on saying not to buy this phone because I think this actually is a good mining phone and I will be looking out for more of them if I can find them on a good deal. And yeah, uh, don't forget to uh, go to verisgear.com and pick up to yourself some Varus gear. It all helps. I'm not even sponsored and I'm just shouting them out. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, all my affiliate links are down below. It helps me grow this channel. Um, uh, my link to my discord is down below. It's just a bunch of us miners helping each other grow the biggest farms and the best farms that we can. And I hope you found this video informative. Uh, I definitely learned a few things. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll check you later.